I just want luscious plants. I was clenching my sphincter for a good hour and a half there. And for that reason, I'm out. This is so exciting. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Friday night, let me live. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh no, not the claw on the- Can you open your phone, please? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uploading! Oh, Jake's favourite counter. Why would he do that? Hi! I've not done much today. Jake worked from home, so I just thought, fuck it, I'm gonna work from home with him. So I just edited my blog, I booked some things that need to be booked. It's so mine and Jake's anniversary in May, so I booked a tattoo for us, because it's just fit. Tattoo, and then Alchemist. I've booked a piercing for me and Jake's mum. We're getting her a piercing for a birthday. I just don't know if I want any more. My plan was, I just think my ears are probably falling off. I just, I just think I should change all my jewellery now. Well, most of it. I was going to get... Um, bang, bang, bang. I wanted three little dots there. Like this, because this is a picture that I obsessed over since I was about fucking 14. I remember seeing it on Pinterest and just wanting that ear stack forever. So I've always wanted them three forward dots with flowers on. But I'm thinking, has my ear got enough? Like, would it be too much with that? I think that ear's finished. I'm just like, do I do it or do I not? I booked myself a slot anyway, but... I don't know, I'm going to cancel it. I'm just going home now to charge my car because I've got a dentist app in the morning. Um, and then me and Jake are going to the gym. My Tamagotchi should be here today as well. I always press one flower from each bunch of flowers Jake ever gets me in this book. And then once I press, I'll put them in this little box together. I'm going to press all these little ones that he made me together so I remember that there was the little bunch of I finally ordered some plant fertilizer because I want to get my plants back in tip, tip top shape. For God's sake, they used to be brilliant. This one's there, easy to look after. So easy, never had a problem with it. Really recommend if you would like a house plant. However, I really killed this guy. I really did. He started coming back and then he just stopped. I don't know what the fuck I've done to him. I, I, so I've changed the lighting situation for all of them. Moved them around. This used to be dead as a dodo, but it's actually coming back thick and fast. Uh, so I've kept him in the spot that he was in. And then this has, since the day that I dropped this off the wall by accident, it has never come back like it used to be. It used to have this giant, in fact, I really just want to get a new one, but that's not the way. We are a plant rehabilitation centre. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. I'm going to cut off. The leaves that have this brown speckledy shit. I've moved him because I don't think he was getting enough light over there. And then I've ordered a fertilizer. So hopefully, really hoping we can, because these three are just a pain in the ass. My other three are fine, but I just want luscious plants. <laughs> like they used to be. I didn't get my cardio done again, but me and Jake's mum are going to go for a walk. But that's fine. I'm making some nice tea now truffle pesto pasta because pesto was the two in uh tesco love pesto we love pesto and they've started doing the pesto brand that i always get I started doing a truffle one so I had to get it it looks like applesauce so. questionable very questionable Tea was not our best creation. It was like very carbonara style. I do not like carbonara. It's sickly, it's disgusting. And right now, I just want to throw it up. But hopefully, this walk will walk it off. My time I got cheese not come as well. I'm not happy. It was supposed to be delivered today. Come on. Hello, little man. <laughs> First day of spring. He's right on his back. You are right? Yay! Yay! 10,000 steps. You look like Kenny or South Park. Jackie Moose and then the final Harry Potter 
don't like this one. Oh, we're not on the final. Oh, God, we're on bloody Deathly Hallows part one. Even more depressing. Alexa, TV lights on. Jake likes the late okay. ones, but I like I like the early ones where everything's happy days and they go, they go shopping and stuff and they're all tiny. Jake likes it when they're all... shopping and you like Harry Potter too with a fucking rom com, wouldn't you? I would love a chick like Harry Potter. That's it, go on. Oh, you know. Jake likes them all dying and it's all in bloody. What is it monotone where it's black and white? Yeah. <sighs> he then greeted Dad as an old friend. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is 7.32. I feel exceptional. I'm on my way to the gym. Actually feels, yeah, it feels really nice getting up early. Once you get past the part where you just never, ever want to do it again, this actually feels quite good. I try and force myself to get up at this time a bit more often. Anyway, today is a big day. Well, I mean, it's my, my dentist's appointment. <laughs> but I mean, I get to find out what they're going to say about my teeth. I think I'm going to get another six weeks, but I'm happy with that. I hope I do because there's still a few little things that I'd like to change. I think this tooth could come further forward. And I think I've still got a couple gaps in these teeth. I just think there's the little things that could be rejigged. And obviously, I'm paying good money. I want them to look good. So, yeah. But apparently, if they give you a new set of liners, they can do like something where you change the aligner every two days so it's like a fast moving thing but I don't know how long that'll take well we'll see I'm just guessing right now we'll see what even happens but I'm going there straight after the gym because I'm gross two birds one stone done we smashed it just on time now it's time to set off is it gross that I'm going like this to the dentist it's just a fucking dentist I need to do a glow up when I get home as well. I need to be tan and stuff. I needed to fart the whole time I was in there. Like, <laughs> just one. I was clenching my sphincter for a good hour and a half there. Let's go. All done. Uh, as expected, I think we are looking at a few more aligners. She said um, her estimate was maybe like 10. So it's like 10 more weeks oh. but yeah they're very fast with it all so i just gotta keep wearing this one so i'm gonna have to be careful with the curry that i eat because these are gonna be so yellow i've worn these for two weeks already and then another maybe two to three weeks to get the new aligners ready so <laughs> yeah but she's taking my attachments off so i can't wait to like feel my teeth without this on because they won't be as lumpy bumpy ham cheese and lettuce toasty I need to stop leaving eating until I'm like starving because when I'm actually starving I don't want a smoothie bowl and I end up eating stuff like this which obviously it's not it's not it's not bad but if I just eat a bit earlier on I wouldn't be like I want something I need food because that's when I end up craving the bad stuff and on today's episode of Tan Remover, we're going to try this Luso Tan uh, bath bomb. It's supposed to remove your tan. So, yeah, I've been waiting to use this for a while. To be honest, I have already started to scrub it off, but actually, you can see, yeah, that needs a good scrub. Just sit down to relax in the bath. And have you heard these kids? Shut the tan remover well i mean it worked it worked pretty well but i'm always very skeptical skeptical i'm like did it work very well or was it very old tan and wet very warm bath water that i soaked in for a long time so the skin's you know just ready to come off i don't know but i mean i mean my tan's come off brilliantly so who knows was it the bath bomb was it i don't know i wish i could test it a thousand times for you but unfortunately I only had one bath bomb, so I will not be testing it again, unless they send me another one, and then I'll try it on some more stuff and that. But I mean, yeah, looks fucking great. I've got an amazing base to start with, proper snowman. However, I have checked the price of them, and on TikTok shop, they are £9 each. And I must say, I think it is from a small brand, but it's just not realistic. 
it's not a realistic price. I mean, you're not going to, every single time you want to take your time off, you're not going to buy a nearly £10 bath bomb, are you? So even if it did work, I must say, unfortunately, yeah, it's just not realistic. I mean, even a lush bath bomb is not £10. I don't know what's in it that's supposed to make your tan come off. But yeah, I suppose for that price, you could buy a tan eraser. And for that reason, I'm out. I wish you all the best. Anyway, guess what's been delivered? It's oh my god, Jay! I'm not going to open it now, though, because I want to open it for a, a TikTok video. I'm going to do my time now. And a thousand TikToks. John, I've also sampled Tantorin one last time. Because I realised you have to do it really dark for it to actually make a difference. So, I tried. I don't even know if this is going to be dark enough. No, it's all right. My blunt tranquilizer. It fucking stinks. <laughs> these guys love this stuff oh wow look it's like poo water as well sewage water it says one part fertilizer to 20 parts water so i'm gonna try and do this properly but i wish there was an easier way yeah i'm gonna have to figure out a better way to do that i know this is gonna sound really stupid but i just poured it in that water in that jug with all the water and the fertilizer and then I just poured it in the plants and now it's gone all over the floor, which I just, I just thought, I didn't pour that much in. I thought the plant would soak it up, but I've had to set all my um, plants on towels now because they're all pissing everywhere. I'm going to have to search into that a little bit better, I think. Or I'm going to have to do it when I water the plants in the bath and then let them drain overnight with the fertilizer in. Or oh, I know you can spray it on the plants. Put the first slider in a little spray bottle. God's sake. This is so exciting. Oh my god, what a fucking cool thing to have. I am actually going to seal it back up tomorrow and pretend I've opened it again for a video. Because I simply can't film it like this because that'll just be a distraction. It won't be like, wow, look at your time. I've actually, it'll be like, wow, look at your face, mate. Anyway. I'm going to open it and seal it back up, but oh my god. So exciting! Imagine if I lost this though. So. Sorry to darken the mood. My mum said to me, I said, I said, guess which childhood toy I've got? And eventually she guessed it and she went, You've got too much time on your hands if you're buying stuff like that. Shut up, Claire. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My egg. My egg's getting ready. I shouldn't have done this now because I've got to take my granddad to church in 10 minutes and I, I don't want to miss a beat. Can you turn it off? I can't even remember how you use these things. This egg's just like bouncing and bouncing. I hope it's alright. It's only in fucking Chinese. There's no hope now. My poor granddad, he's going to be horrified when he sees my face like this. Do you know what? He'd probably, he'd probably be too polite to even say anything. Granddad, if you're wondering, all this shit on my face. It's Tantorin. The final Harry Potter. Oh, I'm not ready for the upset of this. I've got my... Oh, hi Andy. Got my Chucky Moose doll. <laughs> I'm never watching the end Harry Potters again. They're too sad and it's too much. I hope it looks good. So far, this is not looking good. We'll Gotta go, 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 I'm late. Um, it doesn't look bad, but there's there's no tan contour in there. There's none. I think what happened was, I think I was just smushing my face all over the pillow all night because it looked, it didn't even look like it did when I went to sleep when I woke up. So I think what you've got to do is maybe put it on through the day so it doesn't like move and rub around your face all night. I hope I don't look too orange. I don't look bad here, but I hope I don't look too orange in the gym. Fuck me. We did it. <sighs> Couldn't be asked a little bit today, but I pushed myself and we did it. I could have gone home. I could have gone home and said I won't do the end cardio because I need to get ready and I've got a lot to film, but I did it. It's nice and sunny as well now. Gorgeous. That's my second to last PT session. So my last one's on Friday and then I'm on my own. I'm going to have a protein shake because I'm not going to eat anything. Well, I've had a banana this morning. I'm not going to eat anything until this meal now because it's not really. I don't need anything. I'm trying to 
is up this unflavoured stuff because it's disgusting. So I'm really hoping this isn't going to make my milk taste, taste disgusting. But I have a feeling it's probably. Why is it going double the size? Taste test. I really don't want to do this. Is it, it's just, is it just bubbles? Do I wait for it to. Am I supposed to wait for it to settle? Never, never again. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So, so it's unflavoured protein. It tastes like shit. I just thought it would not taste, change the taste of things. That's why I got it. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know. Because I don't want to bin it. I don't want to waste it. But I tried it in a smoothie. Awful. I tried it in just milk. Awful. I don't know what else I can try it in. My hair is mega greasy. Well, it's not that greasy, but it's it's pretty greasy. But I'm getting it done tomorrow. So we're doing a dry shampoo situation. God, doesn't it look white? It looks great. Brilliant. Happy with that. I um I just sent Jake because he um he likes his raincoats. He's got he looks cute in his raincoats. There was this Drew House raincoat that was it was just Re Drew House had reposted it on Sense, so I just sent it in because I thought it's cute. I don't know if he'll really like it, and then he really, really liked it. He was actually debating getting it. I thought, yeah, you should get it. He looks sick in that. I really like when he wears colour because he can pull off colour. He just doesn't. He wears a lot of black now, but he looks really good in colour. So I like to egg him on to uh, wear more colour. Anyway, he decided against ordering it, but I know that he really wanted it, so. I ordered it in. I'm sorry. I'm gonna give it in for our anniversary, which is in May. So it's a while, but I just, he just really wanted it. And I think he'd look really cute in it. He was like, well, I love it. How much is it? And I was like, it's probably gonna be like 300, 400 pound. Um, so I didn't even consider that he could get it, but I went on and it was reduced to like 100 and something, like, which, and it should have been nearly 400 quid. So I mean, it's no, it's no brainer, I had to can't resist a bargain and i do love me some drew house anyway no one tell him nobody tell him he doesn't watch this he don't watch this shit he'll never know and also he said to me um if you wanted to get me a present for my um my for our anniversary i know we don't do presents i love a vinyl which i was gonna get him anyway so you know when someone just ruins a surprise so then i was like well now i don't want to because it looks like i've just got you one because you've asked me to and really I was thinking about it the whole time so now I've swapped it for a present that he's not gonna expect so I'm happy with that I've realized I think my love language is giving gifts not receiving gifts my love language for me is probably physical touch and just cuddles and kisses and whatever but I think mine is giving presents I just love getting Jake presents I just want to buy him everything Jesus Christ, I took up way too much then. I shouldn't have done that many TikToks because it just got stressful towards the end. But luckily, I have some time to spare. So I've finished it. This is the outfit I've gone for. I've just scraped my makeup out of now. I'm an asshole. The Mars the Label corset, this PLT skirt, the fake diesel bag. And then the reflective shoes. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Thank you. This was a great drink. It looks great. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know, I'm not even hit anyone's screen. Lovely. Sorry, it's out on your name. Get that line in there, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, why do I want parmesan even though I've got steak? <laughs> 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 just kidding. I'm just going to say the movement is very restricted right now. I've got 90 degree angle heels on and Chloe's got a fucking a tube dress on. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna run over. Oh, this is nice. Probably a bit too nice for me who has sunglasses on. My AliExpress sunglasses. <laughs> Hello. Of course, I went home first because I'm a loser. Always home first, like a loser. I just like, I just like being in bed with my Jakey. Get 
morning. Last night was nice. Going picking up Rosie you now. I could have looked after her all day, but unfortunately, I can't take her to my hair appointment, so I'm just looking after her for the morning. And then what? Look after Rosie. Oh, we're gonna walk. We do a nice big walk. Look after Rosie. And then, with my hair appointment. I don't think I've got much on today. <laughs> Rosie! Rosie! <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh no, not the claw on the face again. Okay, okay. <laughs> I surrender. Right, I'll say no. <laughs> Please, no more. Please, no more. <laughs> I need to set off. We need to go for a walk. <laughs> oh my god. Right. <laughs> Come on. Right, okay. Someone's got to be serious now, and it's me. <sighs> I really do need to set off. <laughs> She's got her hand on my head, look. <laughs> can we calm down? That's good. That's good. Oh. <sighs> right. No. <laughs> Are you glad I've not done my skincare yet? Right, we're actually setting off now, so you're gonna have to be for real right now. Oh, God. Come on. Great. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Look at the fucking state of me. Pissing it down. So, we didn't get the big walk in that we wanted to, did we? And Mummy asked me to make sure you didn't get monkey. And you're not, but you are pissed right through, so. She doesn't want a hair dryer either, so now we're gonna have to find out a way to get dry without the hair dryer. Have you ever considered that I may just want to sit and eat my dinner? I literally watched, I just watched you eat your dinner and I'm crying next to you. Can you be unfair? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> hold on should we see how long that because i used to always check how long this hair is at the top didn't i how long are you right it's pretty fucking long it's safe to say that broken piece has successfully grown out that's always nice isn't it to look back on right i need to go home and send some sweaty vintage parcels now I hate sending them when it's just like two. It's just like, oh, it's not worth my time. I only like going, sending my vintage out orders if there's like 15 and it feels like you're really doing a job there. But just one or two. Oh, don't get me out of bed for that. We have a shitload of parcels. Mm. I actually don't know what any of them are. This is quite obscurely packaged and it's on top. So let's open this one first. Now the question is, did she order it or is it for you? I never know. A giant old Henriksen thing. Oh, oh God. Wow, it's a new product. The new vitamin CC stick, color correcting eye stick. That is so interesting. Wow, is that like makeup almost? <gasps> wow. Oh my God. Best for blue dark surf. Oh, right. Okay. So it tells you which is best for what on here. Wow. So I would be purple dark circles, blue dark circles, blue purple dark circles. I don't know what dark circles are. And this thing, I don't know what that is. It's like something you shove up your ass. Oh. Oh, that's brilliant. I always use those. Does it come with a charger though? Oh, it's a battery one. Thank you, all I feel like this could be ours. Oh, it's Be Perfect. Ah, lovely. <laughs> Hi, Jen, I hope this is a better match. Love Be Perfect team. I asked for the complete wrong shade in that new foundation. It's so pale. So they very kindly sent me some new shades. Not a clue on earth what this one is. Where it's, oh, oh, it's hair dye. Is it from, wow, wow. Manic Panic is a giant one. Wow, I love that box. That is interesting. What is in here? 
Thank you for all your support. You are very welcome. You are very welcome. Is it just loads of pink? How awkward would it be if I was just... It's loads of pink dye. Imagine if I was just changing my hair colour now. I am not. That is very kind. Thank you, Manic Panic. Next up, I actually know what this one is because I've clocked the logo on the front of the box. It's from Trigwell Cosmetics. I've been so excited to try their powder book. Oh, and they've sent some brushes as well. Very kind, very kind. So the Velvet Powder Puff, I have to open it immediately because I've wanted it in my hands for so long. So we've got the giant one. What do you do with that one though, really? I don't think I'll use, that's like the size of my face. I think I'll be using the mini one. So let's have a look. I can confirm it is very soft. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I can't wait to try that out. Very exciting, very exciting stuff. Oh, and then they've sent me cheek and eye blush and some lip oils. Oh, lip oils there, that's very nice. Thank you. Oh, look, got a stray, a stray piece of um, packaging peanut that's gone all school with. Very cool. And then this last one from Amazon, but I'm pretty sure I've not ordered anything from Amazon. And it says there's an age restriction on it. And if it's fragile, what? I'm with you. It's fuzzball cocktails. How cute. It's very heavy. Nice. I will enjoy those with Jacob for the weekend. Oh, look how cute. I think it's like a new. I don't know if it's. Yeah, I think it is new. A new cocktail brand. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so cute. Imagine just getting about with that in your hand. Well, 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 they seem to have implemented a new feature on Vinted where you don't have to print the label out at home. They can give you a digital label and the staff can print it for you in store. So I just got these with no label on now. I'm going to the shop, but it is a crappy, it is a crappy corner shop. And I bet you any money I get there and they say, oh, really sorry, we don't have the facilities for that. And I'll have to come back home, print them off. Who wants a bet? It's raining as well on my new hair. Yeah, I mean, that would be great, though, if that really does work, because that means I can just keep all my stuff that's for sale in my boot and then keep parcel bags in there, bit of tape, and then just parcel it up wherever I am and go to the parcel shop. I don't ever have to come home for it to print stuff up. So that'd be, that'd be great. Jesus Christ, it works. That is some of the best news I've had in a long time. That's gonna save me a lot of fucking about. That's, that's, that's lovely stuff. That's made my day. Mate, hey, I wasn't gonna go to the gym but today, but Jake's going. So, I suppose I'll go. I feel a bit cheated if he goes and I don't go. But I've just had my hair done, so I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'll just, um, I think I'll just do weights. Don't know if I'll do any cardio. Because I don't like my hair gross. I'm actually going to go to the hair. The hair. I'm going to go to the gym with my hair down. That's, um, who does that? I'm sorry, but I'm not tying it up. I'm not tying these gorgeous curls up and wrecking them. Wrecking them. Oh my God, this bun was so rosy. <laughs> I saw this at the shop and thought it sounded really nice. So I got this for us. Well, actually got it for me, but Jake's. Jake's made his way in. Cocoa, vanilla, flapjack, all the grey stuff just sounds really good. Wait a minute, what did I just get? Beer, I just fucking love these so much. Glaze, crunch, and yeast. The salt and vinegar ones, first time trying them. Um, they are, I think they're my favourite now. Just sounds really nice. This whole grain oat flapjack with cocoa, natural vanilla flavouring, and soy protein crispies. It's fucking tiny, but I mean, yeah. I liked it. Jake, out of 10. Mm. Oh. Jake didn't really that much. But I mean, it is, it is a healthy chocolate-based snack, so what do you expect? No, it's nice. Watch you some crap film, because we, we've got nothing left to watch now. We've watched everything. If anyone's got any good series recommendations, let us know. But if it's not on par with Happy Valley, then fuck off. Good morning, protein shake. Baby shake before the gym. 
my final bro my final B PT session. My final PT session today. Can't be asked. Look at them, look at them. I haven't even done anything on my arms today. Uh, that was my last PT session, so I'm all alone now. All on my own. I think I've got it though. I think I know what I'm doing now. I think I'm ready to go forth. I really couldn't be asked today, but I did it and now I feel much better for it. Mm, and it's Friday, which means I get my weekend with Jacob because we're weekend people now. So what do I need to do? I need to go home. I need to smash out some makeup so I've actually done something for today. And then I want to be able to go on my Tamagotchi this weekend because I've not actually used it yet. Uh, I've been waiting to film opening it because I'm a loser. Well, because it's my job. So yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have a Tamagotchi filled weekend. And yeah. God, have I been to the gym every day this week? I've made 17 visits to the gym already this month. Uh that's quite impressive, I would like to think. Kind of can't be asked with it recently. So I think mm, I think I've been four times this week, so we could still we could still squeeze in something else. I might ask Jake to go on a big walk. Right, let's go home. The only thing about the gym is on the app, like it's a nice little app, but it doesn't, you can't see a calendar and then where it just says how many times you've been. It doesn't say when, it doesn't show you what days. I would like that. Friday and the sun is out ish with grey skies. Oh, I'm actually really excited to try these this weekend with Jakey. I feel like that will be a nice little thing. Just look how cute you are. I should probably put them in the fridge now, but I don't want my. Don't want my scavenger parents to try and drink them. Makeup's done. What do we think? I like it. I'm glad I did the uh, bleach brows. I think it. Yeah, I like it. I especially like. I've um, didn't use any under lashes. I just squeezed my lashes together. You know, like what Selena Gomez does. But um, it's definitely given the under lash effect. I like it. I'm gonna do that more often. I tried my Trigwell for the first time. I really like it. I'm very pleased. Oi, may I just say, I've had this makeup on for a few hours now. Look at my under eye. That's but like usually it will have creased by now. And I never put well I never really put mascara on my bottom lashes because it always rubs along my under eye and makes me look like Uncle Fester, but it's not. And I'm wondering, is it the velvet technology of the Trigwell? Because if it is, I'm fucking happy because I even went through a phase where I didn't wear any powder on my under eyes or mascara just because it looked like shit after like five minutes. So, so I mean, if this is the start of something new, I'm very happy with it. I really hope it stays. I am actually going to wipe this off soon, so I won't know. But I've got a big, da big day out in London next week, so that will be the true test because my look's got to last all day and travelling. How cute is this? So my neon light, it like shines over here, reflects, and then there's a tiny little version of it printed on the wall. Oh, the baby. Got these cute little cherry squish beauty eye patches on because I'm just filming a little on get ready with me. I'm going to keep these on while I make my tea. I have been waiting to use these for over a year. I just never wanted to use them because I thought they were too cute. It's a fucking eye patch, Jenna. Friday night, let me live. It's gone up 20 days, be a pound. Disgusting, disgusting times we live in. So I wish I could have chocolate buttons, but I don't know. I'm walking on. Why am I Saturday? What is that even Saturday? Why am I fucking weekends crazy like this? What is it? It's a good fucking bindi, doesn't it? I forgot I had this one when I went into Tesco in the co op. It's a flower randomly plonked to my fly. Spot sticker. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like I'm still in hibernation mode and I'm really enjoying it. I, like, I miss my friends, but I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out anywhere. I'm happy here. I don't know what I think. It, maybe it's when summer comes home. Be out of this. 
maybe I'm just old now and this is how it is. Good morning! I am getting spots. I think I've jinxed myself. <laughs> I literally said the other week, I don't really get spots anymore. And now I'm getting spots. Now, I think it's because I've started dermal planing. I'm not going to do it again. I was only doing it because it's fun. I don't actually care to have no hair on my face. I actually miss it. I like when you've got a little bit of fluff and you can see your makeup and it's just like the fluff on top. It's cute. So I'm going to stop doing that. We're going back to Ikea to return something. It isn't a weekend without a trip to Ikea, trip to Tesco, all that shit. Why am I so boring? I just love it. My day ring fell out again, it keeps falling out. But it fell out while we're in the car, so I thought, I can't get it back in now, but this is solid gold, this motherfucker, like, I can't lose this. So I thought the only way to ensure that I don't lose it, I can't put it in a bucket, is to put it here. I'll never lose it. Hi. I had a bit of a wobble before, I had a cry, I had another cry. Just someone that I'm working with just basically just, just sent me a bit of a rude message don't think they was too pleased with uh how the response that they was getting to my promotion but i mean i can't guarantee that just because you work with me people are gonna buy your products that's not always how it works you know people take time to buy into things and people aren't buying a lot of stuff at the minute just makes you feel really shitty when people say people it's basically like look we've got nothing out of this promotion so yeah it just makes you feel pretty shit kind of like them shouting at you because you've not made any sales sort of thing but yes i had a bit of a wobble had a cry but it's okay it's fine we're good i went upstairs tidied out the loft and i feel really good for it it's a very very tidy i wish i'd shown you but i left my phone downstairs but it was such a mess. It always is. It's a mess every other week. I'll, I'll tidy it completely and then before you know it, all this shit's built back up again. But it looks a lot better. So I'm going to get ready now because me and Jake's family are going to for an Indian. It's Jake's mum's birthday on Monday so it's a little celebration for that. I would have filmed doing my makeup usually but I'm not in the mood. So I'm just, just going to do my makeup. Just going to be chill. And yeah, I feel better after, my mood is boosted after tidying out that loft anyway. Feeling optimistic. Also, the reason I went up there in the first place is because I really, really want to try the heatless curls. Um, everyone's getting such good results and I want to keep these extensions, obviously, as healthy as possible. I want to keep them in pristine condition. And I'm always having to curl my hair for do a makeup look or whatever you can't just leave it with unfinished hair so the first time i used it it went to shit but it was quite a, i think i had short hair when i first used it so yeah i'm optimistic i'm seeing great results from people so i'm really 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 excited to try this tonight because if i can just do that every night and then i've got curly hair without even having to curl anything brilliant I mean, I will look a dick when I go to bed, which I don't like. I like to go to bed looking like a princess. I was saying that. Have you seen the state of me when I do my fake tan and I go to bed? <laughs> my fake tan pyjamas look like Simon Cowell. But yeah, I'm very excited to try that. So that perks me up a bit. I'll let you know, obviously, how I get on. I'm going to get a new air stack as well soon. Because, um, sorry, there's just too much diamantes. I know I've already said this, but I'm going to quickly... Oh, but I love, I love this one, I love this one, I love this one, I love this one, and I love this one. So the only one I'd really want to change is that. I just want them to look more gold, do you know what I mean? I might just, I'm going to try and swap them up now. So look at the state of that. That's wasted a good 20 minutes. It doesn't even look, I, don't even, I think it looked better before. I was trying to force that one in for about 20 minutes because I was trying to put it in backwards. So my ears all red. No, I don't like any of them anymore. I think I've made that completely worse, haven't I? I just want all new. I'm going to get all new. All new. Apart from that one, because that one cost me a fucking wedge. This is the outfit I've gone for. What do we think? I really like black recently. I've uh, turned the corner. I went from never really wearing black anymore. 
well, when I was a teenager, I used to have a bottle full black wardrobe. Mum was like, you'll grow out of that. I was like, I fucking won't. And to be fair, I did wear all black for a very long time, but then obviously this happened. But yeah, I've got my new docks on, finally. I've literally not worn these since I got them. They are a bit big though. But then the size below was too small, it's weird. <sighs> like cargoes, and this little corset, and then this. Yeah, well, you can see what I'm wearing. I don't really need to say it, do I? It's a bit fucking pointless. I'm gonna try one of these buzz balls. Jake said his was gross, but he did that. He did all the pina colada one, but. Can you open it for me, please? It's hard to open, isn't it? No, I've just got my nails. Well, I've got to open mine. Oh, really? God, have you got any more? Any more things to slag it off with? Yeah, it's only 15% recycled plastic. Oh, and is that true? That is a good thing to slag it off with. It smells alright to me. To the chock teas. I've just brushed my teeth, though. Can you smell it? I can just smell your version. Okay. <laughs> you smell that. Oh, mine's nice. It tastes just like Bailey's. I really like that. I can definitely taste the alcohol in it. It's a good thing though. Mm. Mine's nice, isn't it? Yeah, mine's nice. I think you've just got bad pick. Mm. What do you mean, like kicking about with that? Yours tasted like a gold course. On a wet day. <laughs> Mate, I know that I'm a lightweight, but I'm actually smashed, smashed in the eyes after that much. You're a piss taker, lad. Don't these cars look like hit? I swear to God, every time I see them, Jake's mum just said, I've never done three drinks. She's had one, one buzz. You had one drink. I've never done three drinks. I'm actually smashed up my tears. Like, it's taking me about an hour to drink me. I don't think I can finish it. I can't walk in with this, though. Oh I'll jam three more in my bag. I'm going to be... I'm going to be in tears in about five minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't. I'm going to have to carry it in. I can't do this. Sorry, lad. Belting. Belting. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. If anyone wants one, chop that one. Oh, I'll have one. <laughs> Just wanted to show you my, um, my new socks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that on Instagram. Though. Wow, that is unbelievable HD. I can't believe that I'm letting you all see up my nose like this. I could literally count my nose hairs. This is unbelievable front camera. Oh my god. Praise the Lord that I don't have any bogeys today. Wow. Anyway, the point is oh my god, this is incredible. The point of the video is I've done it. I did it. It took me quite a bit of trial and error. I did the crossover method, which is advised. But I really hope, I, I mean, I look a complete dickhead. But if this gets me curls with no heat damage, I will do it a thousand million times over. Very excited. I feel like I'm waking up for Christmas day. So yeah, it took me a lot of trial and error, but we did it. Let's go see what Jake thinks. I think he's going to say, what the fuck is that? What do you think? You look like a large bag, boy. <laughs> I look a freak, don't I? Yeah. But what? I look at a complete dickhead. Does this put you off me? Yeah. It puts me off me. It take a lot to put you off me. Oh, it take a lot to put you off me? Yeah. Oh. It really would, though, because I do horrible farts all the time. Seriously, though, what do you think? If this gives me curly hair every night without damaging my hair... Adam? If this gives me curly hair every night without damaging my hair, you in fact, he just did. He just did this. I'm playing my game. I know you're playing your game. I hope you're at least winning. Don't fucking embarrass me. <laughs> Fuck me, I look like fucking Amberlynn. Is it Amberlynn I look like, Jake? I look like a fucking space raider. Oh, you look like Amberlynn. Watching the second Mamma Mia. I fucking love Mamma Mia and I've never watched the second one. Make that make sense. God, she looks like a box of frogs, eh? <laughs> box of frogs? No, it's because I thought it was embarrassing until not too long ago and then 
a switch turned in me. Jesus, and I'm just obsessed with it. Aged. Never insult a Amanda in my presence. Actually, every girl's ugly to you. Oh, I can see that you do. <laughs> <laughs> then think you as a fucking Pharisee. Twat. Twat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you good screen, this lad. Proper good. Proper good. Put it on my right again. Who the fuck is Sophia, please? Jake's sick four inch TV. <laughs> We have to wear binoculars in bed at Jake's house. Shut <laughs> up. Oh, fucking hell. Good morning. Yeah, it's fallen out slightly. I look like the mayor of Whoville. But I mean, it's turned at the back. I really hope it looks good because I've was i been so excited. I was waking up through the night like a child on Christmas Eve. Like, is it morning yet? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's official. I'm a monster girl. I found out Jake's secret. Jake's lost. Well... Jake's lost. Jake's lost way more weight than me. But I mean, Jake, he always has like a monster. Well, he has loads of monsters. He has about like 10 million. He has like two monsters a day. Whoa, turn it down. I don't want to get copyright. And I had one yesterday. I had a full one. I don't normally have the full one because I start freaking out and climbing up the walls and stuff. And Jake has to do an exorcist and saw us tits up. I had a full one yesterday and I was not hungry. It might be because I don't drink fizzy drinks and it just filled me up, but I know his secret. He has a monster a day and that's how he loses his weight. And his tea. He has a monster and he has his tea. So, I'm not promoting this. Oh, mad. But I am going to have a monster today. Oh, mad. Oh, Two. Mad. Sorry? Oh, mad. What's only in one, one, monster, one monster a day? One meal a day. One meal? Oh, I thought you meant one, one, one monster a day. One meal a day? Yeah, I can't do that, so, no. I tried the, this big fancy looking blue one today. It's really nice. Mango, I love mango. Jake hates mango, so he's not a fan, but. This could be a favorite of mine, actually. We very much like the white one. I say we, I just stole it off Jake. What have you got? Jake's got the rose one, but it doesn't actually taste like rose. What is it? It's called Ultra Rosa. What is it? What is it grapefruit? It goes with my aesthetic though, it does taste nice. Basically it's a load of fruit crap, it's it's not fruit roses. I really don't want to get into drinking caffeine though. Like I don't drink any caffeine now and I don't drink any fizzy drinks, so this could be potentially be the start of a very bad habit. Jake seems to think caffeine doesn't do anything bad to you though. Nope. I'm gonna die. It, it is sugar free bad. though. It's sugar free, so so is that. Oh, I feel so bad. It's Jake's mom's birthday tomorrow. It's gonna take her to get a piercing. I should have met you. And then we we tried to book the Manchester one, but the piercer's off. So there's barely any appointments in March, which is ridiculous because usually they have three piercers there. So then eventually we decided we're gonna go to Leeds. It's a little bit further away, but we're gonna do that. And we managed to book in on her birthday. We thought, great. It's gonna be a really nice birthday day out. And they've literally just rung me the day before. Really sorry, there's been an error on our system. We haven't actually got a piercer in tomorrow. You're joking. I, want, I like people to have a really good day on their birthday. I had to go down and break the news and then we had to sit down for ages looking for a, a new piercer. What? There's only two Ashton and Mews up north. Two. And of those two, there's no piercers tomorrow. There's usually about at least three in the Manchester one, two in the Leeds one. How disappointing. So then we're looking for other piercers, but I don't want a piercers with like heavy metal. I mean, they're brilliant. They're great, you know, rock on. But it's just, it's, I just, I really like the style of the Astrid and Miu piercers. It's just nice. It's all girly. It's pretty. It's just, it's, it's a nice experience. Not that the um, rock on ones aren't, but you know what I mean? It's just a nice, yeah, it's just a nice experience. So we was looking for somewhere else, but you know, you just got your heart set on somewhere. Nowhere else compares. It's just, it's just great. So we've ended up having to book for at the end of the week, but what a letdown. I feel really bad. Why? Why, Astrid? So naughty. I'm going to take her out anyway tomorrow. I'm going to take her out. 
We're gonna have a good day. It's gonna be good. Yoda's absolutely mortified. Look, they've all just heard the news and they're just. It's gonna be all right soon. I'm never having a monster again. I feel sick. I'm cold. I'm shaky. I'm upset. It's not worth it. I'm gonna have to have a buzz ball to cancel it all out. <laughs> While I'm making tea with you, the tea's gonna be on fire. It's all gonna go to shit. Very limey. This one is tequila Rita. I really don't like tequila. It smells like a drink on the beach. Can't taste it at all. It's very faint, but you can taste it. It's nice, that. Well, Mum, get your tea. It's <laughs> ready. Oh, I can't even zoom in. I've had a buzz ball. That's it. Can you believe it? This is after all day. All day. And I have just brushed it, so. But it's still curly. Wow. And now I'm going to put the little tube snake thing in again. I actually thought, shit, where is it? I got so excited when I took it out, I just threw it on the floor. Round two. I'm getting better. I am getting better. A lot tighter tonight. See how it sleeps. I was a lot faster tonight as well. It seems like it takes a while to do. Like it seems like, oh, this is a faff. But if you think about how long it takes to curl your hair, it really, really doesn't take a long time to do this. Right, that is the end of the week. I hope everyone's had a really lovely week. I think I had a nice week, did I? I had a bit of a wobble, but I had a nice week. Did you have a nice week? No. Don't, did you have a nice week? No. Yes, you did. It was an okay week. Shut up. You had a nice week. This has made my entire week. Anyway. Bye-bye.